Hey Mike, how do you get started with DevOps? What background do you have? How long have you been in the DevOps space? And so on. So many questions which many people ask how I got started with DevOps, how I've been able to navigate myself through DevOps and my years of experience. You want to watch this video to the end because I'll be giving you a little bit of insights how I got started with DevOps and equally I'll share with you some key strategies which you can use to be successful and why not earn roles or get roles as far as DevOps and cloud computing is concerned. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's DevOps with Mike. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, do well to hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of videos that can help you get yourself familiar with DevOps and cloud computing. And equally various sources that can help you get yourself jobs as far as DevOps and cloud computing is concerned. Now, about my personal background, I actually, I'm coming from an engineering background. That doesn't mean you can't actually start DevOps without having engineering background. Um, my earlier years of study, I did a lot of work around computers, information and communication technologies. I did a bachelor's degree in electrical and electronics engineering and equally I was able to obtain a master's degree in electrical and electronics engineering. But you know how the system is studying back in Africa? Once I completed my degree back then in Africa, there was no possibility well, the degree which I actually had was a lot more theoretical as many other African or as many other degrees which you find in most university settings back home. And with that, most of the skills which were or most of the stuff which we're doing was mostly to learn, to take examination courses, to pass and probably forget some of the concepts which you study. And most of the stuff which I studied in my engineering program was mostly theoretical courses, things not necessarily related to DevOps and cloud computing. I was busy solving equations, calculating different functionalities and all of that provisioning systems, which to date have not made use of some of those systems. But that notwithstanding, my engineering background gave me the possibility to be able to think analytically and to equally be problem solving in my approach to things. So that's like the basic foundation educational wise as far as uh, uh, my education is concerned. But after obtaining a master's degree in electrical and electronics engineering, I was so much in a search to how I can acquire the right skill set to occupy remote roles or to occupy roles in the cloud or to occupy or to work remotely basically. And I searched so many opportunities. I looked at the ways to become a developer. The path was looking so long, so there was no focus. And equally, I heard about cybersecurity. But I came across an academy, JJ Tech, one of the main academies where I trained. The academy actually is based in the United States and the covered more than 10,000 plus students or they've trained more than 10,000 plus students and they have more than 2,000 plus professionals in the industry. I came across their training boot camp, which was a six months boot camp. And uh, I took the boot camp in six months. And after that, I was able to gain the key or the basic skills needed for me to thrive in the industry. Now, after getting those skill set, I went ahead to further fine tune my skill set. I did a whole lot of hands-on projects navigating through all the various services that you could actually think of and after navigating through those various services i started doing freelance work on upwork upwork is actually a platform that you can use to freelance so i was doing some freelance work on upwork i was able to provision um well do a site reliability uh, engineer role on upwork through freelance and after that i've been engaging in many other devils and cloud related opportunities so basically for you to get yourself started in devils and cloud there's no requirement for you to have an engineering background anyone from any background can transition in devops what's most important for you in being as successful as a devops enthusiast or as a devops engineer is your ability to voraciously search out information from these given platforms now there are a vast majority of resources available if it's amazon web service amazon web service has a vast majority of resources if it is um, google cloud microsoft azure there are vast majority of resources available for you to learn these platforms once you go into these platforms you go through some of the available resources you can take so much time to do some of the practical hands-on or the practical exercises which these academies have available and as you're building that practical experience or building that practical uh, uh, skill set you're fine-tuning your skill set to be able to occupy 
roles and with devops being what it is there are many different roles that you can occupy you can occupy a role as a solutions architect where you're architecting or creating proposal or you're actually building solutions for a company you can actually occupy a role as a devops engineer maybe based on a particular cloud aws microsoft azure go cloud devops engineer you can ensure that the operational site or the site on which most platforms are running as secure, scalable, and up-to-date using site reliability engineer roles. So you can actually occupy a role as a site reliability engineer. You can actually have a developer where you're building key or core foundational software or maybe applications for some companies in the cloud. So where we have the AWS or whatever developer, cloud developer, and then you can equally have people who are enforcing security environments where we have DevOps, SecOps engineers, and a whole lot. We can have some of these different roles where well, modified platform engineer and so on. So it doesn't really matter what name those roles are. What you find are the key skill sets which is required to occupy each of those roles. And that's what I always recommend people to do. Once you pick up, you want to start learning DevOps and Cloud, you pick up the right skill set. Once you're able to gain the necessary skills and experience with that skill set, you find it easy for you to occupy roles in that given domain. So if you're looking at maybe becoming a DevOps engineer, you want to get the right skill set for continuous integration and continuous deployment you want to understand foundational services for a particular cloud uh, technology you want to have basic scripting linux scripting experience you want to be able to provision infrastructure as code you want to be able to set up microservice architectures you want to be able to do monitoring and evaluation or monitoring and logging of most critical applications running in your infrastructure so you want to build so much experience with these given technologies and once you're building that experience most of the cloud related roles you find out there you'll be comfortable occupying those roles so summarily for you to actually get started there's no limitation if it's worth earning from it it's worth studying there are a whole vast majority of resources available interview preparation resources available and a lot more by the way if you're not having access to those resources you can join my slack channel with the link in the channel description as well as you could join my devops community where i'll share a lot of these resources for those in the community and equally give you some guidance on how you can navigate yourself through the devops and cloud space and if you've not yet subscribed again please subscribe to my youtube channel you want to check out other videos which i have and equally when it comes to cloud computing you also want to consider getting yourself some certifications there are some certifications with respect to the cloud platforms open source certifications equally available maybe if you're on aws you can have solutions level solutions architect level certifications you can have professional certifications or you can have specialty certifications you can even go open source maybe you can have certifications as certified kubernetes administrator hashicorp certifications docker whatever the case so you also want to consider having certifications as an addition to your skill tag so once you get yourself certified those certifications will help you to effectively occupy many more roles in your environment so do well to practice these tips if you really want to get yourself a dream devops job this year